took the photographs of the bus that were sitting in the garage or in the parking lot over there. Yeah. I carefully examined them out and there were two bolts. Yeah. And Jamie and I crawled underneath there last week and we're looking and one of the bolts was broken. On his motorbike? On his motorbike. Oh, he's so happy. I'm like, <laughs> very interesting. I said, well, that bolt's broken. He goes, how do you know? And I said, well, here, I have a picture of your motor mount from two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here are both bolts intact. And I'm like, they put a new clutch in. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine why they would have even wanted to remove yeah, the front not, motor mount. Yeah, you wouldn't do that. So we were actually going to replace the bolt. Nice. Cool. And now, a Frederick find. Brought to you by Premium Weathered Handmade Wooden Furniture and Structures. What is it again? It's a 1929 Johnson detachable outboard motor shipping crate. So up here it's got the, the serial number of the motor that was in it. That's a seahorse from 1929. I looked it up and I wish the, oh, it's just the cut dress off. label was still there. Just cut off. But you can tell by the handwriting. Yeah, that's uh, and stuff that it's from from the from the late 20s that's so ancient this is old exhaust pieces we took out that's the uh the filler the fuel filler neck all right, we don't need, need. Uh, are right, you ready to do this whiteboard you got a marker i don't know what it is but i got a bunch of it see ward's always prepared <laughs> oh look at this and then we can do a practice run on cardboard nice i love it but i was thinking maybe some something and make the battery box look i don't know what they made but the Gar gardener denver company out of denver colorado we'll have to look that up this isn't quite wide enough but i do have some other boards with logos that i collected during the time out at this farm I've been practicing my welding. So the welder is there, it's on wheels, it's got a long cord so I can actually pull it out. I fixed uh, the jack on my trailer the other day so I can weld now, which I've been wanting to weld for years. Right. Do you have some parts for us? Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, two weeks ago. I was out at the farm. And Anything you can do with that or you just gotta wait? I have a carbon fiber insert so I can't do this. That's a straight, this is, that, okay. that shoe goes straight like that. Yeah, yeah. Bend. All right. So that's, I walk in be like, you know, like But that's walking. pretty cool though. So that's what you do for a broken toe? Yeah. Because my right, if it's if it's the ends, you just tape them together. My right toe, yeah. um, see how my shoe's coming apart and I just haven't bothered to get it. So I was underneath the corn crib, <laughs> but they're steel toed. So I still, they still protect me from above. But on this, under this corn crib at this barn that I just finished tearing down, they had put this metal, really heavy duty metal wire mesh underneath the boards, I guess, to keep the rodents out. So I was peeling the boards up and I would peel it up and pry the nails out with the crowbar and then it wouldn't go. So I got pissed and I kicked it and one of the pieces of wire went right in my toe and I broke my toe again. Which, is it your right or your left? Uh, and so we could do a, a three-legged race yeah, and we'd yeah. win yeah, we'd be great. well we'd loot we'd win <laughs> yeah. we could strap our hey, gimpy hey, legs hey. together Here we go. <laughs> that one's never been opened i promise this one has i'm just kidding but oh clutch release bearing yes the throw up bearing the tail light lens seals, which is good. That's good that you got both of those. And the tail light lens. There it is. Let's check. Yep, it's a perfect match. A little heavier duty, a little beefier there on, on the ring, which is which is very, very nice. See so that little thin ring, and then this is a heavier duty. Fits over the yeah, shaft. That's gonna pay a off. Huh? Yes, it is. Most definitely, with him out there slamming gears. <laughs> One single time. Put it in second gear and never leave it. Oh, okay, new seals for the lights. Let's come, ooh, very nice. Let's compare this to the one that we have. Identical. 
Hopefully this will clean up as nicely as this one. What's this one? I forget what else we needed. I had my electrician knife out because I was wiring up the front. Talk about quiet. Um, the other furnace that was in here, that's been here since like 19, I don't know, 79, it worked half the time. The fan didn't work right, so. Uh, and then for supplemental heat, I've got that 150,000 BTU torpedo heater. But it sounds like an airport in here with a run. Extremely. Uh, yeah, those are construction project friendly only. Oh, yes. The constant velocity drive axle. Well packaged. Who'd you order this from, Ward? J Bugs. J Bugs. Welcome to the Team J Bugs. Very well packaged. Is there only one, or is oh, this two? Only two, so I'll have to, or is it one that does two? No, it's one. Huh. Yeah. Have to pull them up. There he is. Wow. Very nice. Okay. They sent us enough bolts I must for have, two. There must be another part of the package then. More and more, yeah. I'm not going to take the seals off the ends yet, but... Yep. That's the right one. PW202. They make good stuff. Oh, so did they short us one? I didn't order two. I thought they were two or one. Huh. It didn't take long, did it? No, no. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a nap, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, we got way too many. I thought I put two when I was doing the two weeks for you. Oh. Very well packaged. Yep, it's a perfect match. I'm so glad that we decided to just go ahead and order the whole new yeah, that'll be easy. thing. Yeah, well, look at these. I don't know where that's been. It's been in a barn twice. Yeah. This has been in two different barns. Then again, they're bone dry and they've been in a tub in a barn. And imagine the CV joint going out like on your maiden voyage. Can't even permit that to be a possibility. Oh! You guys haven't seen my fridge, have you? Another fridge? Did you see the, the old one? I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know if you've seen this one or not. And now, a Frederick find. Brought to you by premium weathered, handmade wooden furniture and structures. They're like, well, we're done. We're done taking anything out of here. Just help yourself. You can have wow. whatever you want. So I got the furnace. Um, and then this was in the kitchen. And I'm thinking to myself, man, that would make a really cool cabinet. Just to store, I don't know, paint. I traced the serial number, it was made in 1934. It's solid steel. So I brought it here to the shop, I plugged it in, and the doggone thing keeps beer at 34 degrees. <laughs> it worked, it freaking worked. So are those frozen too? And yeah, that's the freezer. Nothing. Listen, I mean, look at that. I had to put, I just, cobbled together a seal for it. They make a seal kit for this, but it's $100 and I don't feel like spending $100 on my shop fridge yet. Listen how quiet it is. It purrs like a kitten. It's not Freon. <laughs> this is probably one of the most dangerous refrigerants ever made. Methyl formate. Extremely flammable. It's what they, they, they actually use it to make plastic. So you don't want to have a fridge for it. A fridge um, <laughs> in here because that would be really bad. I've had people want to buy it and I'm like, oh, it'd be a ridiculous price. He said, go ahead and throw it out there. So I told him, I said, I'll take $2,500 for it because it would take me five months to get over selling it. And that's how many months it would take to pay for my shop rent. And he said, uh, no. <laughs> 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 it weighs about 500 pounds. You see that EV West has got a LS motor mount now. No, oh, it's yeah, over. So, That's so, game so, over. So when we, uh, 
when, when we're done with this and we're done with the bug, we got you know two if we have some money left over from from selling. An LS. Then, then we can put a V8. Any V8 motor mount will be able to be electric. Uh, it looks like a bigger electric motor when I looked at the picture. Oh, I'm sure. I want to get Mo power, baby. They call that marker the mistress. We have red and brown. So chassis, you know, so that'd be brake. And interior. Yeah, and interior. And, well, and then actually another one. We'll need uh, electric and then probably battery too. So, so motivation, motivation and energy. So body, motivation, which is the motor, motor, mo you know, and the connection yeah, yeah. to that. Battery, and that'll be, uh, so it'll be charger, battery, chassis be brakes. So let me... I'm sitting there singing it. I'm always singing with the mic in the left. All right, so body first, and then the next one is going to be motivation. Motivation. Okay, which is what we all need a little bit of. <laughs> or motor motivation, energy. Yes. And then, then drivetrain. Drivetrain. So just drive or detrain, and then interior. interior. Window seals. Not window sills because those are house parts. Yeah, I mean, we could put them in, but it'd be a whole different project. Well, and we can make them out of <clears throat> barn wood. And get to test my spelling here, too. We're going to do tires on this section? Sure, yeah. Okay. Even if we don't replace the wheels, they need cleaned. Right? Yes, we'll, uh, we'll get the sandblaster out. I'm going to bring my high volume air compressor up. I've decided, uh, I think I told you before, that I'm just going to go ahead and keep the shop. I've got a year lease uh, that I'll be signing this week. So windscreen. See, that's very, so very European of you. Hey, man. You know, I don't think the handwriting is very European. <laughs> that's nicer than mine. Oh, uh, tail lights. Well, we would see a light at the end of the tunnel if we got to this step. <laughs> that would be exciting. We will get to that step. <laughs> you get to that step. Well, Prius pedal. Turn uh -huh. signals. Yeah, we'll, we'll check the relays and make sure everything is uh, right on that. And the coach battery. Uh, 12 volt. I think we should get a deep cycle marine battery for that. Uh -huh. uh, because they're... The longest lasting thing you can get. All things that run off of the electric stuff. How about a box of wood? Box of wood. Yes. Yeah. Reclaimed wood. Uh, relays. Charger. Stereo. You want to go? You want a stereo? Uh, we'll see. We'll put it on there and we'll decide as we go. Could always go with mono. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need the. Uh, Need the PDF manual. Yeah, coolant. We'll do. We'll just do cooling. Yeah. However, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Wires. And then call EV West. Okay. So, well, how about brake lines? Yes. Well, we'll put a question mark, but it. Uh, we'll check those. Suspension. Just to check it out. We yeah. don't know what's gonna be like. And the CVs. It seemed pretty good. We'll we'll grease everything and. Uh, rotors. So that should be, is that all we need for drivetrain? I think so. Seats. Bench. Upholstery. Check spell. That's a spell check. Um, I, it underlined it for me. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. 
trim gauges G A U G E S. All right. Rear seat mount. I can spell Lamborghini. I can't spell gauges. If we zoom out on that, it just looks like an easy project. Oh yeah, how hard could that be? On the next episode of E is for EV, the transmission trips, Scott wears a face shield, anyway. Love it. <laughs> this is great. Is off and the doc finds a bottle cap. I don't think this came with it. I think this is in a box of bolts. Follow us on social. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in episode six.